What's good, my NoFap community? What's good, my semen retention community? Today, we're going to be talking about how to tell your girl that you're holding your nut. Now, if it's your first time on this channel, I'm Boss Money Bass, and this is Expensive Facts. Now, I know that we're on this journey. And I know that this is a hard journey to be on, especially being a man that's sexually, sexually active. And once again, no fat brothers. Continue to not jerk off. Leave that jerking off shit alone. I always say it poisons your soul So we don't even have to get into that too much Leave the jerking off alone In another video I'm going to give you a survival guide To survive your no fab addictions And to master and manage your semen retention but Like I said, this video right here We're going to be talking about how you'll be able to tell your girl that you're holding your nut. Like I said, once again, I know that some of us, most of us, a lot of us are very sexual active, man. And if you are in a relationship where you are sexually active and you're trying to hold that nut, that could be a hard thing to do. I mean, I know you're trying to do something for yourself, and I know you're trying to have that willpower. And I know you're trying to run that race. But everybody ain't trying to run that race with you. Meaning, just because you walk in that walk don't mean your woman is walking that walk with you. She gonna want that dick. You, you gonna want that pussy too. So now you gotta figure out how you are gonna tell her that you holding that nut. Like I always say, you have to keep your gifts. You can't allow your gifts to be spread out through these bitches. If you got one and she deserves that gift, give her that gift. Not over and over and over and over and over. But if you slip up and you give her that gift, you have to understand if she's that one, it's not like you're losing that power. That power is getting recycled and it's coming right back to you. But if she's not that one, then you're wasting your gifts. So stop giving away your gifts. But this is how you tell her that you're holding your nut. Now, I'm going to give you two examples. The first way. Is to basically let her know your mission. Always be up front. Let her know your mission. Let her know what you're trying to accomplish. Let her know what's going on with you. And hopefully she's able to walk that walk with you. You got some women that just won't give a fuck. She want to get your head. She want to taste that nut. Daddy, let me taste that nut. Daddy, all I want to do is just suck that nut out of you. And you... <laughs> you I've been in the same motherfucking position Temptation is a motherfucker She trying to put that mouth on that thing And you like Wait don't put that mouth on that thing And she sucking that thing And you like Nah don't suck that thing And then You blow Gifts gone Shit in the air And you like Damn I done fucked up I was 20 days in I was seven days in. I was three days in. And look at this shit. I don't let this shit go. So you got to let her know, listen, baby, this is what I'm trying to accomplish with this thing here. And her, if she go with it, it's wonderful. It's like I said, you got another one that want to put that pussy on you. And I want to feel that nut all inside me, daddy. Give me that nut. And she looking at you and she fucking you and she looking at you and then boom, you blow. And it's over. My brother, you got to have that willpower. You got to let her know your truth. 
You got to let her know, listen, this is where I'm walking. You need to walk with me. Now, if she agrees to this, the ball is now in your court. Now, what are you going to do with it? Because she like, listen, you're not going to tease me for 50 days and 30 days and 40 days. I want to fuck. If you don't come, you don't come. But I need to come. I know you ain't just going to be like, well, you know, I'll eat your pussy. <laughs> she don't want that. She wants some hard dick. So what are you going to do? I'm going to tell you what you're going to do. You're going to fuck her. But if you go back to the first video, man, I was telling you how to hold that nut. See, it's a muscle. You know, I call it the gooch. Like I said, a bitch lick that gooch. Nigga be in heaven. If a bitch lick that gooch, a nigga be in heaven. That muscle that's right under your balls. You know the muscle that you move to make your dick jump? That muscle. That muscle will make you a different person. What you need to do is you need to build that muscle. You need to build that muscle. Because that muscle is going to be the next step between you, your willpower, and your gifts. That is the elixir in these situations. That muscle, you're going to have to tighten that muscle when you're about to come. And you got to hold that muscle. And if you hold it long enough, that come that was supposed to come out will travel back up. It won't come out, man. Beginners. And listen, man, you got to be comfortable with your body. Beginners. That nut should never come out, man. Beginners. You need to do this. If you have a problem with that muscle, what you have to do is you take these two fingers and you press onto that muscle when you're about to come. And you tighten that muscle. And you press on that muscle. And you tighten that muscle until that come doesn't come out you hold that and like I said once again that muscle is the elixir because Perfect. Perfect. you can have your cake and you can eat it too you can have your cake and you can eat it too you can hold your nut and you can enjoy that pussy now like I said this is for people who are in existing relationships. This is for people who have sex on the regular. There are ways to keep that nut in without stopping your sexual activities. And that is the way. Or you can just go cold turkey. The shivers and the shakes and all that shit. And it's nothing wrong with it. Not having sex, man. If you're preserving whatever you're preserving for you, that's what it is. But some of you are in existing relationships and some of you have a high sexual appetite. Me, I have a high sexual appetite. So you got to learn how to keep that in. And you have to keep in more when you let out. Number two, the second way you can tell her you're holding your nut is to not tell her at all. Now, I know you saying, what you mean not tell her at all? So how I'm going to fucking not tell her? Here's the thing. Two options. You don't come or you fake it. Women fake it all the fucking time. You think you knocking that thing down? Oh, daddy, I just came. Nigga, she wants you up off her. Sometimes we got to do to them the shit that they do to us. Fake it till you fucking make it. You know what I mean? Or you can get in the heat of the moment, kiss her, rub her body, build up the pressure in the room, get it to that point and say, listen, I can't do this shit. 
It's not time. I can't do this shit. It's not time. I can't do this. I have to wait. What's wrong, daddy? Why you got to wait? I respect you. I just can't do this right now, girl. I'm not ready. It's not our time. Now, I know you laughing like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> like, nah, I can't do this. But listen, females do this shit to us all the time. You think you're going to get some pussy and you working and you working and you working dick harder than a roll of quarters. You working, you working, you working, kissing, finger in that shit, licking the juices off your fingers, all that shit. You doing all that shit so you can get to the next base. You know what I'm saying? Pussy smelling a little bit tall, but you still ready. You like, fuck this. I'm fucking her today. And she shut your shit down. I ain't fucking with this, baby. I'm not ready. I can't do this. I can't do this. I'm not ready. And you sitting there with a hard fucking dick and a dumb face. Dumb face. Nah, man. You got to hold that nut. Fuck that. The same thing she do to you, do to her then. Get to that point. And go. Now, for me, that would be torture, my man. That's like torturing myself. Me. But if you have to do it, man, you got to fucking do it. Do it. Do everything to save that nut. You have to. It's imperative. You have to hold that in. And like I said, you have to hold in more than you let out. You got to be honest with yourself, man. I'm honest with myself at all times. You have to be honest with yourself. You ain't going to be a hundred for a hundred, man. Any motherfucker tell you that? He capping like a motherfucker. You ain't going to be a hundred for a hundred. It's going to be that time, man. But it's up to you. Like I said, once again, if you're going to let that nut go, one, you, I hope you're not jerking off. No fap forever. No fap forever. Fuck that. You, I hope you're not jerking off. But if, you, if you're going to let that nut off and some pussy, for some pussy, hopefully she's that one. Because like I said, It'll go on her and it'll recycle back to you. Let's say that again. It'll go on her and it'll recycle back to you. And you'll get that energy from her. But she ain't the right one, nigga. She don't deserve that nut. Keep that in mind. Thank you for watching this video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you're not new, you already know what to do. And you want more where this came from? Put it in the comments. And make sure you share this video. Boss Money Big.